dear students i heartily welcome you all for the maths class session 1 i am shagavta here are some instructions to you i request everyone to follow up the same keep your textbook notebook gluing pen and other necessary geometrical things like pencil ruler eraser etc with you kindly work in your notebooks wherever it is necessary while listening to the class note that all the geometrical figures should be drawn using pencil and scale only don't use your pen okay then let's begin the first chapter is shapes dear children you have already learned about different shapes and other basic concepts in your previous classes about shapes let us recall what we have learnt in previous class while you are listening to this video listen carefully and try to understand the concepts to the best there will be your assignment towards the end of the video let us know about a point a point is an exact location in space it has no length width or thickness a point is denoted by a capital letters of english alphabet here you can look at the example here point a x y p and m are points we can denote a point by any capital letter of the english alphabet in geometry a point is shown as an dot let me show you an another example can you see this beautiful picture there are many points here which are denoted by different letters i am sure you all are happy to see our school name here that's great can you denote some points with the initial of your name s yes. pause the video and do it now remember the letter should be in capital the next concept is line many points placed close to each other in a straight path form a line it has no thickness or breadth it has only length so it is called as one dimensional figure you can see the example here a line has no end points it can be extended on both the sides here this picture indicates a line it extends endless in opposite directions and hence arrow marks are drawn on both sides to show that it never ends so it is read as line ab or line ba next one is line segment a line segment is a part of a line it has two end points a line segment has a definite length we write a line segment ab as ab it is read as segment ab or segment ba look at this geometrical figure let's say this point is point a and the other end is point b when these two are joined along a straight path this straight path is called as line segment it is a fixed path and it can be measured for example the assembly line in the morning is actually a line segment because it has two ends the last concept of today's session is ray a ray is a part of a straight line which has a starting point called the initial point but no end point it can be extended only in one direction we write a ray ab as ab with the arrow mark at the top it is read as ray ab we cannot read it as ray ba for example have you noticed the rays of a sun they start from a light source that is sun and goes on endlessly in another direction rays from torch is also an example for the same i hope these concepts were clear to you let us solve some workbook questions now kindly open 
page number 1 in your workbook look at i recall questions question number 1 how many endpoints does a line segment have option a 4 option b 3 option c 2 option d 1 recall that from the definition a line segment has two endpoints so the right option is option c 2 question number second ab is read as dash option a ray ab option b line ab option c point ab option d segment ab if you see ab on that a arrow mark one sided arrow mark is there so it is a ray it is read as ray ab and the last question is xy is read as dash option a line xy option b ray xy option c points xy option d segment xy can you notice here in the question on the xy a line with two arrow marks is drawn so it indicates a line the right option is option a line xy here is your home assignment first question draw and label the following line line segment ray second one is what is the difference between a line and a line segment that's all for today's session in the next class we will learn about angles and naming angles kindly get ready with required materials that is unrolled notebook a protractor a roller and a pencil before concluding today's session i would like to give a healthy tip and i request you all to follow it today and always tip of the day is practice gratitude thank you have a great day